Today, we're gonna to talk about three tips when choosing a business partner. Now, for context, guys, in my 15-year career, last year, in year 14, someone asked me to partner with them. I've never asked someone to partner with me yet. I learned an incredible amount, and that is what I wrote this show around. So I'm gonna run down the top three tips you need to know when choosing a business partner from experience. What's up guys, my name is Chris, founder of Warrior Consulting, and I help entrepreneurs hit the seven-figure mark in their first year and scale past the multi-million dollar mark. And all you need to do by watching this video and following this channel is execute what we teach you, and you could do that too. So make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and let's get started. Okay, number one, what do they bring to the table? Does what they bring to the table complement you? So what does that mean? So I, I've, I've listed out a couple of examples here, okay? What does that partner bring to the table? Does it complement you? So fundamentally, in a business partnership, you want to be really good at different things if you want a partnership to work because if two partners are really good at the same thing, well, you have to hire around what you guys aren't good at. So in this case, having complementary attributes are gonna be key. So for instance, what do I mean? Complementary attributes would be a visionary versus an implementer. Maybe one partner is really good at the forward vision and the other partner is really good at implementing what needs to be done from that vision. Another example would be maybe one partner is really good at the back end, like marketing and numbers and accounting and dealing with the attorneys, and the other partner is really good at the front end, like customer service and operations and maybe logistics to a degree, sales, things of that nature, back end versus front end. And the last context I'm gonna give you here for complementary pieces of a partnership would be maybe one partner's really good at sales and the other partner's really good at marketing. So as you can see, the examples that I'm giving you, they complement each other. One's good at marketing, bringing in the clients. The other one's good at sales, which is building the relationships and closing the clients. Okay, number two, what is that potential partner's background? For instance, are they successful? Are they unsuccessful? Do they have a track record? Are they involved in illegal activities? Are they involved in legal activities? Are they worth getting in bed with? That is a term that may be misunderstood, but the term of getting in bed with someone would refer to doing business with them. Getting in bed with you is doing business with you and having everything kind of related to you. So if you get into bed with someone, it's a close, intimate relationship in this context of business. So let's say someone does illegal things and is known for illegal things, and let's say the other partner is only doing legal things, and you guys get bed into bed with each other, the partner doing illegal things is going to be associated with the partner doing non-illegal things and the person that's worked really hard for their reputation and has worked really hard over the course of the years now will be looked at associated with the individual doing things illegally. So you have to be really, really clear and understand what that partner brings to the table specifically if you're going to get into bed with them, which means do business with them. Now, if everybody has passed what we have talked about, number three, this is what I'd recommend. Go on vacation with them one-on-one -on -one and see if you get along with that person. If you can get along with that person in a one-on-one -on -one setting, an extended vacation, sleeping in the same room, going out, whatever, doing uh, activities together, if you guys get along and you just vibe, perfect. If you don't get along and you don't vibe, that is a perfect example that you are not going to do well as a partner, in a partnership, in a business. I'm teaching from experience on this one. And this was the biggest lesson that I learned last year. Go on vacation one-on-one -on -one and see if you get along with that potential partner. Running it back, what do they bring to the table? Number two, what is their background? And number three, go on vacation with that potential partner. 
That's what I got for you today, guys. If you learned anything, drop a comment. If you didn't learn anything and I completely missed something important, like a lesson that you've learned, drop a comment below. Let's discuss it. If you don't like what I said, drop a comment below. But fundamentally, guys, know that I appreciate you. I'm happy that you're here. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll catch you next time.